Hello again, this is Randy DeLong with High Performance Aviation. We're going to switch gears a little bit today and we're going to look at maintenance on an aircraft, specifically what an owner operator of his own airplane can do. And the FAA calls this preventive maintenance. So preventive maintenance for the pilot and aircraft owner. What is preventive maintenance? Well, if you look at uh, the definition in part one of the FARs, it defines preventive maintenance as simple or minor preservation operations and the replacement of small standard parts not involving complex assembly operations. So what does that mean? Well, if we look at FAR part 43, Appendix A, this is going to give us the whole list of what the FAA considers preventive maintenance. I'm not going to go through the whole list, but I'm going to give you an idea of kind of what you can do. If you decide to do something on your airplane, make sure you reference Appendix A of part 43. So the FAA says you can do removal, installation, and repair of landing gear tires. You can replace elastic shock absorber cords on landing gear servicing landing gear shock struts by adding oil or air, servicing landing gear wheel bearings, such as cleaning and greasing, replacing defective safety wiring or cotter keys, lubrication not requiring disassembly other than removal of non-structural items, making simple fabric patches not requiring rib stitching or removal of structural parts or control surfaces, you can replenish the hydraulic fluid in the hydraulic reservoir, refinishing decorative coatings, applying preservative or protective material where no disassembly of primary structure or operating system is involved, repairing upholstery and decorative furnishings of cabin and cockpit. You can make simple repairs to fairings and non-structural cover plates and cowlings. Replacing side windows as long as it doesn't interfere with structure or operating systems. You can replace safety belts. Replacing seats or seat parts as long as the disassembly doesn't include primary structure or operating system. Repairing broken circuits in landing lights. Replacing bulbs, reflectors, and lenses of position and landing light, replacing wheels and skis where no weight and balance is involved, replacing or cleaning spark plugs and setting gap clearance, replacing prefabricated fuel lines, replacing any hose connection except hydraulic connections, replacing any cowling not requiring removal of propeller or disconnection of flight controls. And again, for a complete list, refer to FAR 43, Appendix A, Preventive Maintenance. So what are some things that aren't preventive maintenance? Well, again, you're, I'm not gonna give you the complete list, so you'll wanna look at FAR 43, but some of the things would be engine overhaul, engine removal, prop removal, flight control rigging, magneto overhaul, structural repair, removal and replace of cylinders, flight control removal, or repair. So this is just kind of a small list of things that your A&P would want to do on your airplane instead of having you do it. Now, who can do preventive maintenance? Well, FAR 43.3 states, except for holders of a sport pilot certificate, the holder of a pilot certificate issued under part 61 may perform preventive maintenance on any aircraft owned or operated by that pilot. Of course, if it's used under part 121, 129, or 135, you can't do preventive maintenance on those aircraft. Now, the holder of a sport pilot certificate may perform preventive maintenance on an aircraft owned or operated by that pilot and issued a special airworthiness certificate in the light sport category. So you can only work on light sport aircraft. So when you do preventive maintenance, you're gonna to wanna to make a logbook entry and according to FAR 43.9, that logbook entry must include a description of the work performed with reference to data acceptable to the FAA, the date of completion of the work performed, the name of the person performing the work, the signature, certificate number, and the kind of certificate held. Note that the signature constitutes the approval for return to service only for the work performed. So just because you can, should you? So some things to consider when you start doing preventive maintenance are, there's gonna be tools that you need. 
You're going to need torque wrenches, sockets, safety wire pliers, spark plug, cleaner, gap tool, air gauge. And remember, you're going to have to keep your torque wrenches and air gauges calibrated. Manuals needed, maintenance manual, parts catalog, and of course the POH. And experience is definitely something you'll want. I would recommend working with an AMP or an IA on an annual to get the experience needed. So in conclusion, doing preventive maintenance is a good way to save money. Make sure you have the right tools and manuals. Keep an updated copy of the FARs. If in doubt, get help and advice. Experience makes a big difference. Double check your work. Have another set of eyes on it. It doesn't hurt to have somebody that has experience to look over what you've done. Make clear and precise logbook entries. So hopefully this was informative and helpful. Please leave comments. And if you have any questions, also leave those in the comments. Have a good day and we'll see you next time from High Performance Aviation.